Millie and the Lost Colors by Erica Deary. Narrated by Sharda Laskowski. Welcome to Mimi's Reading Room. It was a new day, and Millie and Mr. Raccoon were getting ready to go out and play. But when they opened the door, the world had gone all gray. Oh no! On the ground, behind the tree, Millie saw a box. What's this? wondered Millie. In the box, there was a map. Could this be a clue? asked Mr. Raccoon. I know, said Millie. We need to go to all these places to find the colors. Then Mr. Raccoon said some magic words. Abracadabra, alakaboom. Let's travel the world in a hot air balloon. And up the clouds they went. First, they went to the United Kingdom, where they searched along the river. Then, near the big old clock, they found a bright red bus. They flew then to the Netherlands, where they searched through the canals. Then, in a grassy meadow, they found a delicate orange tulip. Next, they went to Kenya, where they explored through the savanna. Then, in the fiery sky, they found a ticklish yellow feather. In Brazil, they danced some samba. They paraded through the carnival. Then, on the tropical sand, they found a speedy green soccer ball. In Mexico, they played with the mariachis. They looked in the plaza and they looked in the fountains. Then, in the lively markets, they found a tasty blue corn cob. When they arrived in India, they searched over the city. And near the magnificent palace, they found a silky indigo scarf. The last stop was Japan. They walked in the busy streets and near the cherry trees. Then, near the ancient temple, they found a beautiful violet kimono. It's time to get back home, said Millie. To Australia, said Mr. Raccoon. They flew in their balloon for hours and hours until they arrived in Melbourne. Millie and Mr. Raccoon carefully lined up all the items they had gathered. A tiny sunray came out of the clouds and sparkled a little bit of light. Could it be that the colors would come back? <gasps> a rainbow, said Millie. Before their eyes, all the colors started to appear. That day, Millie and Mr. Raccoon danced among the colors and the world was gray no more. The end. Thank you for listening. Give us a thumbs up if you like the story. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can hear other great stories.